Hello everybody. Right, just a short hunt today. Uh, three hours. I think I've got three, four hours. Uh, I just wanted to say a thank you to all you people who leave comments telling me what things are. I really do appreciate it. I, I had two things in the rubbish which I was going to throw out. I found out one of them is a top off a canteen bottle from the army, probably World War Two. Um, and one is part of a German gas mask. So they were both in the junk, me thinking they were junk. So thank you very much for telling me what things are. I do appreciate that and keep them coming. Um, and for people whose videos I don't comment on, I do try to watch as many videos as I can. And if I get to see one, I will comment. Um, but as you can tell, I'm out every single day. Uh, plus, I'm making the videos when I get home. I'm working earlier on in the day so I have, I have very little spare time to watch videos but I will and always will try to, to see all your videos as well. Right, let's crack on. Shut up Daniel. Right, my very first find and it's, uh, what is it? <laughs> it's like a cap off something, hole going through the top, a gorge underneath with a tube in it. Any ideas, please? I'm guessing it's more World War II junk, but I don't know. I'm going to have to get myself a book on World War II. On, uh, you know, the equipment people used. Okay, I've just found a shovel. Top. A spade top. And some big long tubey thing. What a lovely little collection. Doesn't it look pretty? Okay, something else very big, very unusual, very what are you-ish, and very, I'm not sure if I can carry you home. You're too big. If it's something cool, let me know and I'll come back for it. No inscriptions on it or anything, just a round copper ring. But very old. I've just found a really cute little spoon. Look at that. It's quite heavy as well. I think it must be stainless steel. It says on it, uh, Lufthansa, L-U-F-T-H-A-N-S-A. Once, oh, hang on. And on the back, Design Wolf Ganagai. Kanan. Uh, Design Wolf. K A R N A G E L 1986 W M S Cute Very cute Another big clump of iron which is definitely in some kind of shape but I can't work it out It's like a spear tip without the tip I don't know I'm fed up with finding things. I don't know what they are any now. I've had enough of them. Tomorrow, by the way, I'm out with a... Uh, turn myself round. I'm out with a German guy tomorrow. Um, first time I'll be detecting with anybody. It's called Uli, 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 I don't know. I don't know. Until I see him, I don't know how to pronounce it. But it's going to be fun to be out with someone else for a change, and I'm saving that part of the wood to do with him tomorrow. And he knows all about World War Two, so he'll be able to tell me what a lot of these silly little things are, especially ammunition. A tiny little bronze handle. That was something cool in its time, but not enough to go on. I can't tell anything from that. It's just a nicely shaped tiny handle. Well, there's my guaranteed pigeon racing, pigeon racing ring of the day, bird racing ring, and this one Poland, I think, PL. I'm guessing it's Poland, 2007. Probably my my most modern one I've found as well. Whoops, I've dropped it. I'll find it again. Don't worry. Oh, I'm glad they made them yellow. Right, I'm in an area here where I've, 
I've refused to give up. Look at the size of this all. I'm digging and digging and digging everywhere. Some, there was a very, very good sig well, two good signals in here. I found one of them. A spoon. Now, judging by the size of the ladle on that spoon, I'm guessing that is old. Um, I don't know what it's made out of, though. I don't know. But out of the same hole, I've also found this, look. And that's glass. Like a, a glass top off of a jar or something. So I'm into some kind of trash area here, but it's the kind of trash I want. <laughs> But there's something else still in there, and I'm not giving up until I get it. But yes, a very nice spoon. That is the first spoon I've ever found with the spoon on the end of it. I just normally get handles. So hopefully this last signal is going to be something good as well. No, that was the last signal. Some kind of copper strange thing. I don't know. I'm so confused that I'm digging up so much weird, weird stuff. It's unbelievable. In between all this weird stuff, though, I should point out there's a lot of house bricks. So this is obviously an old dumping ground, but a very, very old dumping ground. Uh, I found a few little bits. Uh, we're talking two foot deep now in that hole. Now that, that's interesting pottery. That's old. Very old. Um... But I need to excavate this properly. I can't just do this with my trowel. <laughs> so I will be back here one day to do it properly. But it's obviously an old, a very, very old rubbish dump of some kind. Tiny little bronze. I don't know what it is. Okay, I cannot get away from junk. Um, I'm digging and digging and digging. I just get deeper and deeper and deeper. And I come across junk, found a bit of glass there, a green, bottom of a green glass, and then a very cute little glass here, which I think Caroline might want. Um, so I'll keep hold of that. But there's still something metal down there, but we're talking sometimes two feet. And I'm, I've only got a trowel. <laughs> you know, what am I meant to do with this trowel? So... This is for another day. I just need to try and get away from this junk area. Don't get me wrong, there's some good stuff in here. Some good old relics and stuff. But it's, it's not for today. That was the metal thing which was in with the cute little bottle. Some kind of lid. Weighs an absolute ton. Honestly, if I do this properly with the right tools and spend take a bit of time over it, I bet there's some fantastic things in here. Okay, well, it's like a <laughs> a beautiful little thing. It's like a tiny little button or something, but I don't think it is a button. Decoration of some kind. Some kind of little old clasp of some kind. That, if you get the mud out, will have a hole in the end. And it'll attach to something and it'll clip down on a lid, I presume. Okay, something else incredibly cute and old. That seems like porcelain, the white bit, I'm not sure. With a little hinge on it. I just don't know what any of these things are. I don't know how old they are, but what I will say is I am literally 40, 50 feet away from where I found a 1763 coin yesterday. This is just getting ridiculous. I haven't found one thing today which I recognise. All I see is very old relic type things, and I don't know what any of them are. Okay, that's a very nice old button. On one side it says Leipzig which is a city in Germany, and on the other side it says uh, Berlin. But there's more writing on it as well, so I'll look forward to cleaning that up and seeing if I can date it. Very good. The oldest bottle top I've ever seen in my life. 
that is so heavy. That is either bronze or lead. I think it's bronze. And it's got little dimples on top. I'm hoping I can get a date off this when I clean it up. Excellent. Part of a very old buckle or something. Very old. And some kind of very, very old clip. There isn't one thing I have found today that I can explain what it is. <laughs> but everything I'm digging up interests me. That is clearly a purposeful curve there. And a clip for something. Like a tie clip. Or I, I don't know. Hair clip maybe. Okay, my first coin of the day. A very old one. Well, 18... I think it's 1892. One Fennig. So that's old as far as I'm concerned. 1892. Get in. Get in. Unfortunately, it is now 8 o'clock at night. The flies are all around me. It's getting dark. I'm half of a mile from the car, up to a mile. I need to start walking, unfortunately. I want to keep going! Okay, well, <laughs> that's one of my best finds I've ever had. A lead soldier. I've always wanted a lead soldier. When that's cleaned up, that is going to look absolutely fantastic. The detail on this guy is unbelievable. The age, I have no idea. But that is a very, very old lead soldier. Get in, come on. Okay, another very, very old coin. Now, I can't make it out, it's too dark. Um, it's either, it might be 1871, it might be 1811. But it's old. Right, time for the roundup, <clears throat> and the nicest roundup I've uh, had the pleasure in giving. I've got some nice little things here today. Uh, a nice cup of coffee, black for sweeteners. It's morning after, by the way. I'm just doing this before I go to work. Right, we found some big pieces, of big lumps of iron. Um, can't tell what any of them are, but could be something, I suppose. Some kind of plate. Uh, just three bullets today. Well, one cartridge. I presume that's the cartridge from a bullet. From ammunition. Um, a nice little bottle, which I'll be sending to Caroline when I've cleaned it up and found a few more. That's a very nice little lid. Unfortunately, it's slightly damaged at the top, but a nice glass lid there. <clears throat> Huge iron disc. Don't know what that was off. This interests me. I'd like to know what that, what use that has. It's as if it's screwed in. It, it's got four little things on there, look. So, I'm guessing it went on something and turned around and held in. I don't know. Don't know what it is. Uh, scrap. That is it. That is all the scrap I found. No proper junk today. And then on to the better things. A spoon from 1986, I think it is. Stainless steel, I presume. It's in perfect condition. Uh, a very nice old spoon. What that's made out of, I don't know got a slight green look to it. I don't think it's bronze. I don't know. But it's got a nice deep ladle so I've got a feeling that's very old. <coughs> and then lots and lots of little bits. A little bronze handle. This I think is an, a, a hair clip or a tie clip. That's made out of pewter. That, I think, part of an old buckle or something. Uh, three buttons. That one seems to be very old. 
a nice little design on there, look. I don't know if that was some kind of button or not, I don't know. Bronze again. A nice pewter, or lead, I'm not sure which. I think it might be pewter actually. Some kind of top of a drink or something. Again, I think that's a top of a drink. sure. I'd love to be able to date some of this stuff because it was all together in what appears to be some kind of little rubbish dump but a rubbish dump full of good things. <laughs> Don't know. That, I didn't think it was but I've decided I think it is now a, a, bottle, a, a watch winder. I think it just needs cleaning up at the end there, get all that off. Cute. Some kind of tag. <clears throat> a bird ring from Poland, 2007. Some kind of lead disc in there. And a little blip at the top, I don't know what that is. Two coins, I think they're both 1890s. One of them definitely is. So maybe all this is from 1890s. And my find of the day, what a beauty. My little lead, well he's not a soldier, he's a sailor I think. He's got a horn in his hand. The detail on him is lovely. He's got long hair, as you can see. Very nice. The only thing wrong with it is uh, the thing he stands on at the bottom is bent back. But beautiful, very, very happy with that. Love to be able to get a date on that. That is old. So, I'm going out today uh, with Yuli. Yuli, whatever his name is. <laughs> uh, a German detectorist who's uh, an archaeologist. So this that should be fun. He seems to know a lot about World War Two things and relics. So, uh, I'll take him back to the same site, I think. And he should be in for a good a good afternoon. Right, I shall see you tonight. Goodbye.